What's the revenue from the from the last tour? Revenue, huge, right? I mean, I think we did. I probably did a hundred plus million on the last tour. Hundred plus million. You you can't make a hundred million. You can't do a hundred million just telling jokes. You got to own the show. The it's tricky, man, because it's a lot. It's a lot of mental reprogramming you got to do. Business and touring is one that I control. So uh, if I do a building, I don't need to get fronted. I don't need a promoter to basically ensure the event. So I take 95% of the door. I'm also my own marketer. I'm my own team. So all of that stuff that comes in where people are normally allowed to profit and benefit, you kind of put that together yourself. So your revenue grows because your enterprise is ran by you and the people that you put in the position uh, and evolve. So my friends that you look at as just regular guys are now businessmen um, that help me run the enterprise that I now have. So that uh, that ridiculous number that you're looking at is one that we're proud of because it's, uh, it's a testament to the hard work and dedication. You mean someone in your ancestry line survived being chained to other human bodies for several months in the bottom of a disease-infested ship during the Middle Passage, lost their language, customs, and traditions, picked up the English language as best they could while working free of charge from sunup to sundown as they watched babies sold from their arms and women raped by Rufus overseers, children born with no last names, no birth certificates, no heritage of any kind, braved the Underground Railroad, survived the Civil War to enter sharecropping, learned to read and write from sheer determination, faced the burning crosses of the KKK, averted their eyes from the black body swinging from ropes hung from trees, fought in world wars as soldiers to return to America as boys, marched in Birmingham, hosed in Selma, jailed in Wilmington, assassinated in Memphis, segregated in the South and ghettoed in the North, ignored in history books, stereotyped in Hollywood, and in spite of it all, someone in your family line endured every era to make sure you would get here, and you received one rejection, face one obstacle, lose one friend, and you want to quit? People you will never know survive generation to generation so you can succeed. Do not let them down. I want when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther, you know? Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out, you know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver, you know? I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That Ain't that what we're supposed to do? It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job, is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish and because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't know how to change it, but I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody's going to clean it up. I don't look at everything else as the problem. Look at yourself and see how you can change yourself to where nothing bothers you, to where you're unbothered about a lot of things and to where life doesn't exactly affect you in that manner. It's changing your perception that kind of changed the world around you because it's the small things that we don't appreciate. So in order to appreciate everything, you have to be very, very, very analytical. So in being analytical, you start to observe the world in a different manner. So even how you approach people, even how you move, even how you think, when you change the way you think, you change the way you perceive the world. Due to time, people change. People change, priorities change. Um, and the way people kind of treat you also changes once they get with